I guess it's that time of the year again, huh? Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is coming out this November, and uh, today the alpha went live for PlayStation 4 players. Anybody could play it. You don't have to have it pre-ordered or anything like that. You don't need a code. You just go on, you download it, and you play it. And uh, this is going to be my first look at this game. Obviously, I've seen it like on the live streams and the big reveal we had the other week and stuff like that. But this is my first time ever playing. So let's see what happens. Now, hold up a second. I know what you're thinking. Trev, back on COD. What did I do to deserve this? Well, we're about to throw it back even more old school. Your boy is now sponsored by G Fuel. I'm literally drowning in it. Some of you guys might not know this, but way back in the day, like I'm talking 2011 Modern Warfare 3 primetime tips and tricks, T. Martin was sponsored by G Fuel, except back then it wasn't called G Fuel, it was called Gamma Labs. They're a fantastic partner back then, and I'm excited to be working again with them now. We've got some cool stuff planned, so make sure you guys stay tuned. But uh, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, they reached out, they asked if I'd be interested. I said, yeah, let's talk. And they're like, we wanna make sure you love the product. So they sent me a boatload of it. I'm still not through all the flavors. So far, guava is definitely my favorite. Hype sauce is Chelsea's favorite. You hear that? You don't hear anything because it's almost empty. So if you guys have any favorite flavors or anything, feel free to let me know. I'll have to check them out or any mixes or anything like that. But uh, yeah, man, it's going to be exciting. And to celebrate this first announcement, we've got 30% off. Use code TMARTIN at gfuel.com. I'll link and, and put everything down in the description. You guys can get 30% off, which is one of their biggest sales that they do. So make sure you guys check it out. And uh, thanks for supporting this new sponsorship, which is pretty exciting. So let's get into the Call of Duty. Ooh. Okay. Gonna be fighting in Angola. This is satellite. Kind of a cool little intro there. And here we go. So I remember when I was watching all the live streams and stuff, everyone was talking about how good the 74U was. So we're gonna see what we've got going on here. How did... We are pulling ahead. How in the world? I was gonna say, how do we not finish that kill right there? Nice. Nice job, teammate. I'm gonna get a stun back there. Try to come back this way, see what we got going on. No clue where these guys are gonna spawn at. I'm assuming somewhere over here. Yep, looks like we called it. Woo! Got a spy plane. Shoot. I don't have my, my tactical setup on. Let me try to get... Uh... Yo, is that actually t -Martin? What's good, cuz? So we got one on A. Sorry, boys. Looks like I'm gonna spawn flip here. Yeah, I think I got T-Mart in my lobby. I'm not sure. I wanna... Got him. Got an artillery. I thought that was a dude, but I couldn't tell his name didn't pop up. All right, I gotta, I gotta switch. I gotta switch. I gotta switch. Uh, controller. I gotta change. Where is it? Button yeah. layout. Tactical. There it is. All right, we're gonna go. Shoot. So we've got. Uh, gonna put it on A. Hurry up! Hurry up! Get there, artillery. I don't know how fast that drops. Ooh, nice. All right. We've got a mine. I'm gonna throw a mine right there. Got him. Got our scavenger working for us. I got perk read on, so we got like six perks. I'm gonna let a teammate push forward. I like letting I like I like baiting our teammates here. Feel like you feel like you die super fast in this game. Let me pick up this M4 here. Woo! Yeah, Yo, dude, it, it's like team mark, give me a sign. Hey, what's up? Who's talking? Who's talking? I think it's I think it's Ryan Rockstar. I'm getting shot by somewhere. All right, we gotta we gotta push. This I feel like it's kind of a cool uh, kind of a cool little little area of the map over Got here. By myself. Got the game by myself. All locations locked down. Dig in and hold them. I like I like fighting alongside the uh, the sand dunes here. I think it's Ryan 407 Rockstar. Try to get a nade on B. Did he just die? He may have just died. Yeah, that's gotta be team mark snapping. <laughs> I don't know if I'm snapping, bro. I'm 13 and 3, but I guess we're doing alright. Losing B here. Gonna try to get a nade up there. I don't really I don't even know what I'm throwing, dude, to be honest. Alright, Ryan's here. 
I'm gonna keep pushing towards A though. We're gonna die. Shoot. And that, I don't like that part of the map. I don't, that, that part, you've got like two different spawn points and you're down in the little bowl there. That is not fun at all. Just straight mapping people with the 74U, huh? What's good, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you're a ledge, bro. You're a ledge. Hey, you're the man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you happen to see this video. I know I'm not posting as many COD videos and stuff. Might be a little bit confusing, but I hope I hope you happen to find it, bro. All right. Excuse me. Don't let these boys have beat. They're gonna come from this way. There's gonna be numerous. I gotta go. I'm getting out of here. Gonna come back up the other side so they don't know what hit them. Just gonna get get a little bit tricky with it. All right. See, they could be all the way out there. Whoa! What? Just got guns. Try to get off on his right here. He's down. I actually really like this fighting on the sand dunes. This is fun. This is different. Woo! You're getting hit from a distance. You boys gotta go. I don't think I have the, the kit for that. If we had our M4 out or something or a sniper, we could probably kind of work that. But I, I, I think I think we gotta stay more up, up towards this side. He's down. We're running out of ammo is the problem. We got 19 shots left. Like this? No, dude, come on. He's down. There's gonna be more of them around here. Got him. He might I need some content, bro. Is that what's going on? We are not in a good spot, dude. I, I, this side sucks. Pushing up out of this bowl, it's it's you're really trapped. There's two major choke points, and that's pretty much all you got. I'm gonna try sneak it up through here. Enemy spy plane. Dude. <laughs> all right, 162, 122. We gotta we gotta we gotta hurry this up here. I got your help, bro. Little drop shot, never hurt anyone. Get a stun up there. Securing B. I thought he died! I 100% thought he, I, I saw the drop, so I thought that was his body dropping from dying, but no, he was, he was just laying down. Try to throw a nade over there. Enemy chopper gunner established above. You're joking, right? Get aggressive. Taking both. Oh my gosh. We're getting chopper gunner down. Nice nice this this is sick, bro. We're getting spawn trapped with the chopper gunner. Got him, but I'm gonna die to the chopper. On B solo, on B solo. We'll we'll capture this. Let's go, we gotta get this back. Just gonna try to get a, a nade over there. I'm coming to get you, Rockstar. Yes! We got an elimination! Oh my god, he got a four man! Oh, no! That dude got a four man artillery. We were inches away. And look at that. It's 192, 188. We gotta push here, boys. It's gotta It's gotta happen now if it's gonna happen. Losing Alpha. Securing Bravo. We're gonna end up losing this, aren't we, dude? 198 we would need a we would need a full full cap on there so i lost my first game that well, just did you let it? 
just wonderful. Shout out to my guy Ryan. I wish we could have secured that dub, but uh, it's all good, my man. I appreciated playing with you. Thank you so much. So there you guys have it. That right there is legitimately my first time ever touching this game. And uh, I can genuinely say I enjoyed it. You guys know I haven't really been playing COD multiplayer, unless you count Warzone, for quite some time now, but I did actually enjoy that. The game felt pretty good. Uh, the, the speed of the gameplay and everything like that was was pretty solid. Like, I, I, it's, it's obviously kind of dialed back a little bit, a little bit back more to old school where, you know, map awareness and setting up and holding down a line of sight and that sort of thing is really, really important. The sliding and the jumping is pretty strong, I'm not gonna lie, so especially when you get into competitive lobbies and stuff like that, I think that's what's gonna differentiate people is, is you know, being able to slide and jump shot. So that's gonna make the competitive scene interesting this year, but in terms of pubs, it's definitely dialed back and there's definitely not as much going on, which is is pretty cool. I mean, I, get, I didn't really play that much Modern Warfare, so I, I would imagine it's somewhat the same, but maybe even a little bit more so. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know. Uh, the one thing I did notice, and I, I feel like is a little bit excessive is the headshot multiplier. I felt like sometimes, you know, if you hit headshots, you just laser people or you get lasered. Sometimes I felt like if I looked at somebody, I would be instantly dead and that's because they got headshots. But then sometimes if you shoot at the body, it takes quite a bit of time to kill. So that's just something to get used to. It feels like it's definitely been turned up from, from previous games though. So. Yeah, overall, the gameplay felt pretty good. Weapons, 74U is dominant. You guys saw we did really well in this gameplay. First game was like a five or six KD or something stupid. And then the, my third game, I went 50 and three, again, on satellite with the 74U. So if you guys wanna see that gameplay, I'll be sure to uh, to post it, let me know. The, the M4, a lot of people tend to, to trend towards that for an assault rifle, and I honestly don't like it that much. I, again, it, sometimes it seemed like a laser, sometimes it seemed like a bullet sponge, and I think that's because of the headshot situation, so I gotta kinda iron that out a bit. If you guys are looking for something different, the Type 63 semi-auto weapon, that thing is a beast. It's really, really fun, especially with the rapid fire barrel on it, so make sure you guys check that out. In terms of maps, I really like uh, Satellite a lot. I, I feel like it caters to a lot of different styles of gameplay, depending on if you're playing in the caves or over on the dunes. Uh, it is a little bit one-sided for domination, as you guys saw in the, the first gameplay here, so you gotta watch out for that, but I think it's a fun map. Miami, I don't really like that much, to be completely honest. I feel like it's super awkward, it's it's a little bit too large, and it's just boring. Every match I've played on there has been boring. Lots of people camp, it's dark so it's hard to see people. There's all kinds of crazy head glitches from long distances in the dark, so it's just like, I, I don't know. I, I've never really enjoyed a match on Miami so far, so that's kind of a bummer. Moscow, I only played like two minutes of the end of a match that I joined in progress, so I can't talk about that, but uh, Satellite is my jam. I like that a lot. So, uh, I mean, there you guys have it. Like, it, it, Let me know what you guys are thinking of the, the beta so far, or the alpha, I guess, is what it is. I, I honestly really did enjoy it, and um, I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna be going back to making COD tips and tricks, weapon breakdown style videos, but I could definitely see like some sort of a 5KD challenge, Road to Commander type series happening, maybe play some game battles. I don't know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want more gameplay from the Alpha this weekend, let me know, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave some comments down below, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.